everybody guns it on the cover today is thursday february 28th 2019 and we have uh i'm gonna give you three stories in one today how about that well instead of making three videos we'll just put them all together because they all have something in common and uh we'll see if you can figure out which what they have in common i'll give you a quick uh choice do you think it's sexually related domestic violence related or DUI, DWI, drinking. Which one do you think it is? All right, your second's up. Well, if you uh, you chose sexually related, you would be 100% right. So we'll start off with the first story. Now, what I did was I just typed in, instead of just looking for New Jersey, I typed in police officer arrested, that was it. And I just looked to see what came up, and these were the ones that came up, and they were right up pretty much off, almost in the top. And this one comes out of um, Lawrence police officer accused of child rape held without bail. I believe this one comes out of Massachusetts. And let's show you what this fine upstanding officer out there protecting and serving looks like. There he is. Yeah, he looks like those kind of guy really hard at work protecting and serving, isn't he? Okay, so let's find out what this fine upstanding officer did. A Massachusetts police officer accused of child rape was ordered held without bail pending a dangerousness hearing at his arraignment Tuesday. Carlos Vieira, V-I-E-I-R-A, 49, was arraigned in Lawrence District Court on two counts each of aggravated rape of a child, indecent assault, and battery on a child under 14. Vieira was arrested without incident Monday in Hather Hill following a month-long investigation according to Essex District County uh, District Attorney's Office. Now, just let me just mention, this was dated uh, February 26, 2019, so this just happened. During the arraignment, prosecutors said Vieira met a 13-year-old boy in the summer of 2018 through a gay social media app called Grindr. He agreed to meet the boy at Mount Vernon Park in Lawrence, where a sex act is alleged to have taken place in a dark SUV. On September 13th, the day of the Merrimack Valley gas explosion, prosecutors said the child allegedly saw an officer directing traffic in the vicinity of Mount Vernon and Beacon Street and recognized the officer as the same man he had the sexual encounter with in the park. The child did not know the man was an officer at the time. Investigators confirmed Vera was paid for working on the day of the gas explosion. It was then that the child's mother went to the district attorney's office and the investigation began. Lawrence Mayor Dan Rivera expressed his anger at the allegations in a statement. If it is determined to be true, we will act quickly to remove the officer involved. Vera, a 19-year veteran of the police department, has been placed on administrative leave pending an investigation, according to Lawrence Police Department Chief Roy Vasquez. Vasquez, Vasquez, I don't know. The judge in the case has impounded the police report. Vera's dangerousness hearing is scheduled for March 1st. He is represented by Attorney Gil Nason. They, he, that was another fine one, huh? All right, let's get on to the next one. All right, our next story up, and this is reported in the Atlanta News. And this is dated February 10th, uh, 12, 2019. And let me show you this fine upstanding officer out serving and protecting the community. There he is. What's that say right there? All right, let's find out what he did. I'm sure it... It was all about protecting and serving. This comes out of Washington, PA, Washington County, Pennsylvania. A police officer has been arrested on felony chi child rape charges. Trent Talbert has worked for departments across the county, including Houston Bureau, Borough, and the Washington County Sheriff's Officer, Pittsburgh Technical College, and at least two others. Pennsylvania State Police said they started investigating Talbot last summer when a woman said she overheard a 14-year-old girl firmly telling him she did not want another oil rubdown. 
the young girl told the adult that Talbert made her take all her clothes off for the oil rubdown and then sexually assaulted her, police said. The woman contacted the police and investigators spoke to the now 14-year-old girl. She told officers the abuse started when she was 12 years old. She claimed Talbert also sexually assaulted her in public in the shower at Cross Creek Park and gave her multiple oil rubdowns. Houston Borough, Oakdale Borough, and Washington County Sheriff's Office all told WPX1, or I, I can't make that out, that Talbert doesn't work there anymore. He's still listed on the website for the Pittsburgh Technical College as one of its public safety officers through the chief of police told WPX1, or I, he doesn't work there anymore. Talbert, 56, is charged with felony rape of a 12-year-old and involuntary evident sexual intercourse. According to the criminal complaint, the victim told police Talbert had photos of another girl on his phone. No word from troopers if these, if there could be more charges filed in the case. Well, there's another great one out protecting and serving. Let's get on to the final story. And our final story this comes out on February 2nd, 2019. And this one says, Former Memphis police officer arrested for sexual exploitation of a minor. Well, let's read what this fine upstanding officer out protecting and serving the community did. A former Memphis police probationary officer has been arrested after investigators say he sent sexually explicit messages and photos to an eight-year-old girl in California. Andrew Hellams, 28, is charged with aggravated sexual exploitation of a minor and solicitation of a minor. Investigators say the girl's father called his local police department after finding disturbing messages and photos on her cell phone. It's very alarming, it's very alarming, and it's just the times that we're living in that this stuff occurs. And usually from where you least expect it, said neighbor John Bogan. Well, I don't least expect it. I expect it. I've read enough of these stories already. An investigation revealed that Helms had several sexually explicit conversations with the victim from mid-November to mid-December of 2018, in which he asked her to perform sex acts and send the photos to him. According to the court records, the girl sent Helms multiple photographs of herself engaged in sexual acts or poses, and Helms sent her photos of his face and gentles, genitals. You would never expect that from police officers or a priest or a minister, but it can come from anywhere in this day and age, Bogan said. Now here's a picture of this fine, upstanding officer. I wonder how many, well, he hasn't been on the, long, on the force long enough to get all kinds of awards. But I'm sure he must be connected to somebody. Is that how he got his job? Well, MPD tells WREG they hired Helms in 2017, but he never made it through the probationary period to officially become an officer and was fired before this investigation even began. Well, there's more to the story, but... You know, this seems to be the number one problem that law enforcement has. It's it's sexually related problems. And, you know, it's rape, child molestation. And, you know, people point out that it's not about the sex, but it's about the power and the control. And, yeah, I, I think that there's some truth to that. But uh, I also think that they feel they're they can get away with it because maybe they feel they have an insight to what's going on and and people are afraid won't believe them when uh, they go forth come forth and say what happened but you know these these stories are more and more every day excuse me every day these stories are coming out of these blue zero turds molesting kids that seems to be the number one thing molesting kids that seems to be their big go-to thing they do if it's not boys it's girls that they're they want to molest and then the the sexual the next thing they on that list on the sexual category would be rape but you you i'm finding that i see more stories about them uh, assaulting children 
And it's a very, very sad mark on them. And, uh, you know, I say this before, I'll say it again. You know, the police, they don't want to talk about it. They just, they're quiet. They don't want to uh, accept the fact that these things are going on. They don't want to acknowledge it. And uh, But at the same time, they're quick at telling us what we're doing and what we shouldn't be doing. So consider my channel one of those channels that is going to tell the cops what they need to be doing, which is clean up their act. I will... Uh, Put the links in the description, and you can go click on the stories you want. I would also invite you to do your own Google search. Put it in there. Police officer arrested. See what comes up on your search. See what kind of... Uh, see what the top ones are. I mean, when I did it, it, it was the sexual stuff that came up. The other one was... Uh, I think I saw rape. There was a domestic charge. There was... Uh, Assault, that kind of thing. So it's it's all violent related. It's violence and uh, sexually related problems. All right, like, share, subscribe, follow me on Gunnison Undercover on Facebook. And uh, if you got a story you think I should do or cover or talk about, send the link to me. I don't want to know about this. I don't want you to describe it. Just send me the link to uh, New Jersey Exposed at gmail.com and I'll, I'll check it out and if it's, it's if I think it's good I'll, I'll cover the story for you till next time people you know the drill you see something you record something and I'm going to keep saying this there was a cop down there Walter Scott his name was and he shot a black guy in the back as the black guy was running and then he turned around and tried to try to rearrange the evidence to make it look like uh, he had justifiable shooting there but Unfortunately for him, somebody had their cell phone out recording, and that cop is no longer a cop now. He's a convict sitting in a prison. So the power of the camera can get rid of these bad cops. And the cops, the bad cops, they don't like cameras. That they definitely do not like. And the camera is our biggest weapon against them right now. Till next time, people. It's Gunnison Undercover.